Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and today is a Marketplace Supply Day. Normally I do it on Wednesdays. I just switched it around a little this week to accommodate my schedule. Summertime's a little crazy over here and I'm sure you can relate. So we're going to look at some really nice supplies that have been added to the shop. Just some beautiful things and uh, hope that they inspire you to use your stash. But if you want to purchase anything here that you see, the link is in the description box below. There's items from me and then from Leah. She is one of my suppliers, Leah Wilkins, and I love her work. And I want to thank her for the sweet little um, playing cards she sent me. I love playing cards. They're some of my favorite things to add to journals. So that is really sweet. And she said that I could keep anything that I wanted to for my own collection. And I want to make sure that she can sell her items and get a good price for them. But I did choose this embossing folder and stamp set because I know that I'll use it. And it's really pretty. So thank you, Leah. <clears throat> I'm going to move these out of my way. And let's get right into it. We're going to start with some stamp sets. This is a Stampin' Up! stamp set. It's called My Love. Um... And you can see here the different words on that. And then there's also the UR set. This has a really pretty font. Like extraordinary, incredible, fabulous. I really think that those would go great in journals. So all of these are going to be in Marketplace Supplies. This would be perfect for the fairy tale journals. It says Dream. And Dreams come a size too big so we can grow into them. And then there is a castle. So that one is a great set. That is the Dreams stamp collection. And then this is the Happy Friendship um, collection here. Different Stampin' Up! ones. That one's really pretty. Sweet Friend. And Happiness Always. I love that one. And there's the Hearts collection. Look at how pretty. All these different hearts there. And the Friends Collection. Cute little Friends sayings stamping up as well. So a bunch of stamps added. I also just reduced the price on some stamps that have been in the Marketplace supplies, so if you're interested in that. There's also Piano Rolls. Um, really fun to create with. So you'll be able to just... You'll get a random one. But you'll get a piano roll. Of course, they're craft condition. They're very old and you can use them for your collages and journals and all of that fun stuff there. Leah also has a one pound button bag. Just a good collection here. Random buttons that you can use in your journals if you're needing them. This is a great collection. This is Journal Kit Neutral and I'm not going to unpack it. She has it so pretty here. You can just see the neutral colors and we'll read what's in it. Woven cotton length of fabric. That would be this fabric here. 10 miscellaneous, miscellaneous buttons and coordinating neutral colors. Miscellaneous ribbon lengths and pieces. Um, pearl trim. Two small vintage doilies and eight architecture fussy cuts. Well, I want to see those architecture fussy cuts and I don't see them. I don't want to open this, but... I Maybe I can pull those out without, yeah. Oh, look at those. Those are pretty. Pretty and neutral. They go really well in a sweet neutral journal. You can never get these things back in the same way. You can see the buttons and the, the pearl trim. The lace, really pretty. So that is the neutral one. Also a Ba big bag of miscellaneous ribbon. And so we have a big bag of just different ribbons and trims and things that you can use in your journals. It's fun to get grab bags like that. This is called Bright Spring Journal Kit for a 9 by 6 journal. It includes uh, fabric for the cover, accent paper ribbon, journal cards, ephemera, and an ephemera folder. I think I'm going to like this. So she said this is a sturdy, reusable, oh, these are just some papers clipped on. Okay, a sturdy, reusable folder. How do we open it? I think it's Velcro. Okay. 
Ooh. So this folder you can use to keep things in. You have die cuts, trim, and then tucked in here you have papers. Beautiful. And then this is the fabric. Well, come on. Don't want to ruin anything here. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Look at the bird and the dragonfly. So it has what you need to start a journal, but it's a great place to collect ephemera and pages and things like that as well. Absolutely beautiful. I love ephemera hold folders. Just love them. So there's that one. That's from Leah. It's called Bright Spring. Um, this is, this is French blue. So it has wallpaper, um, French blue, different papers, po vellum pocket journal, insert journal cards, and ephemera. All right, let's take a peek. Looks like there's wallpaper. I think she said there's wallpaper in here. Look at how pretty that is. So you can cover a journal with that. And then she has paper. So this is all like a blue theme. If you have like a little ephemera holder here and a whole bunch of papers that you could mix in with journal other pages if you wanted to create a journal. And then little ephemera pouch with sweet little pieces of um, ephemera that you can use in this blue theme. I'm going to have to take photos of that, so I'll just set it aside. If you hear a lot of noise in the background, it's my boys. So just pardon me. This is called Notations. What is this? One signature. So I'm guessing it is a journal. Let's take a peek pretty. Oh, well, I guess it goes this way. The sun is kind of in my eyes, so I'm having a hard time here. Let's see. That's pretty. So, okay. That is Velcro and it reattaches. That's cool. So you can pull it out to use it. That's beautiful. And then how does this open? I'm not wanting to rip anything. <laughs> Here's the journal. I love how you can store the items right in here. Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful colors. Lots of noise in the background. Sorry about that. So pretty. So you have your journal contained here and then places to store ephemera. It's nice and sturdy, like it's made from a file folder. It's called Notations. It is beautiful. Oh, sorry. So many interruptions today. It's just one of those days. Summer break. I think it actually may have been eas not easier, um, but I think I'm, I might have more to do in the summer as they're older. It's hard to get everything done that needs to get done, but that is okay. We will just take it one day at a time. <laughs> one day at a time. Okay. What is this? It's pretty. Ooh, handmade paper ephemera folder. So there's a whole bunch of goodies in it. You can see here. And you can see there's little fussy cut flowers that you can tuck in there. And then what is the, oh, handmade paper. So there's a whole bunch of sheets of handmade paper in there as well. So that's a great place to store goodies. And then tucked in the back here, there's journal cards and tags. So a beautiful ephemera folder com coming with some beautiful items. Let's take a peek at what's in here. French cottage ephemera folder. My hope when I created this folio was that it would mimic if even in some small way, the feeling of being in a French country cottage, I hope you love it. It's stuffed full of handmade ephemera, including vintage and antique pieces, even some space to journal. I tried to use colors, textures, and scents throughout that would bring experience and provide inspiration. 
Wow, look at this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Little snap. Little baggies full of goodies. Look at the little fabric pockets. They're so pretty. Lots of places to tuck things. There's a pocket. I think we can pull everything out of here. Pocket. Tags. What do we have here? I'm not pulling everything out, just kind of showing you. Lots of little things tucked in there. So there's almost a little journal incorporated in here. So whether you actually write in this or you use this as different papers to pull from for your collaging and your journaling, that would be up to you. I think it works perfect as a journal, but it is rather an ephemera folder as well. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this part of the closure. I haven't seen anything like, like that before. So that is French Cottage. Then we have, I think this is just a little journal pack. Journal kit ocean themed. It has a fabric, buttons, ribbon and journal cards. So it's just small themes. So maybe you want to do an ocean journal and you don't want to buy a huge kit, but you just want a few ocean inspired things. So we have some ocean inspired colored buttons, some lace, and then this really pretty fabric as well as some ship journal cards. So that is just a mini little kit. It just has a few little things in it. Perfect. Just for adding to your stash. You may already have most of what you need. And then this is called a trio of pretty fabrics right here. I'm not going to unroll those. You can go to my uh, website to see the pictures, but they're so perfect in there. She sent a journal. Her journals are always incredible. Just look at that. Oh, they come together so well. Okay. Well, I'm always afraid I'm going to rip something, but it is Velcro. Look at how pretty. You can store your journal cards in here. Look at that. That's printed on fabric. And this is called French Blue. That would go really well with that ephemera folder. Let's make sure I'm in frame. Like I said, the sun's in my eyes today. I have a little sheer curtain over the window, um, but it's still going over the top into my eyes. Look at those lace choices. So pretty. I love how it is minimalistic yet luxurious. I mean, you have so many places that you can write and so many things you can make your own. But like, look at the paper, the texture paste and the stamping, the stenciling, just the little. Here's like how you could use a piano roll paper right there. vellum just so many they're texture paste again a little embossed just there's little touches that make it feel absolutely luxurious but there's so much space to actually use it just look at that oh leah you are inspiration itself i just want to thank you so much for the inspiration absolutely lovely lovely okay journal kit folio so this was two full large flat rate boxes full of items from leah so absolutely incredible okay um all right so we have journal cards in this pocket Ooh, it looks like you're gonna get pens look at all the journal cards right so you can keep journal cards there and then I don't know how to, yep, just that Velcro gets me every time. Okay, handmade paper, look at that, nine sheets of handmade paper, three gel pens, there's pink, 
silver and yellow. What is this? Oh my. The box removes because it is Velcroed on. And there's gotta be something in here. This cookie box can be used in a journal or as a mini journal. Oh, I see. So you could use this as a journal cover. There's fabric in here. Okay. But my thought, and it's just my thought, is I, I would take the fabric out and I would cover a journal with that. But this, I love to use boxes for storing scraps of paper and journal cards and ephemera bits and fussy cut bits. I would fill it with journal card or a certain type of ephemera, whatever it is. And I would keep it inside that box and then I could just pull it off if I was working with it. I would just use this as a folio because I am in love with ephemera folders and folios. I have quite a collection and several of them you all have made me and that I use. So, so pretty, so inspired. Okay. Um, Navy and Persian green sari silk. Quite a bit there. Okay. And then assorted lengths and pieces of lace. So if you just want a little lace grab bag. And then this is called miscellaneous scrap buster packet. It has stickers, um, rub-ons, die cuts, and charms. I think we need to take a peek just so we can see what all is in here. So this is, these are probably things she had laying around, just kind of like a D stash. So there's some little charms that would be cute in a little, um, like a little golden book nature type journal. These are pretty. I love little button flowers like that. Stickers. Ooh, look at those stickers. Epoxy stickers. They're butterfly. These are glittered stickers or rub-ons? Stickers. Soft gel stickers. Lost and found eight sheets of alpha and word stickers. These are rub-ons with little quotes. To live is so startling it leaves little time for anything else. Emily Dickinson. There's quotes. Rub-on letters. Rub-on like sewing stitches. Metallic accents. That's a birthday. And nature ferns 3D foil die cuts. Ooh, pretty. So it's just a whole bunch of randomness. You get these for a really good price and you get a play. Just play with things that you probably don't have in your stash. A lot of these things are probably retired and you can't even get any more if you wanted to. That would be my guess. And I love stuff like that. How can you incorporate it into a journal? So there's that. Um, this is a little set of Cling stamps it says, hello, love you, hugs and kisses and thank you. And they look like little postage stamps. That is so cute. And then here is a little clear stamp set. Cute gift for you. Thinking of you, a note to say hi. This one is so cute. I thought about keeping this, but I love the window. Look at that. The little kitty. You can make a little, a little, um, window stamp that'd be perfect for card making look at these i think these would be really fun on a gel plate but also just in a journal like a big at sign a big question mark it could be great for inspiring thought and writing as of questions and exclamations and things like that and then she has this is her last item 25 piece fabric bundle silky feeling texture so 25 pieces These are the really thin, they're not sorry silk necessarily, but they're that, I think they're probably polyester, but they're really, really thin. They work great for fabric flips and for fabric ribbons and things like that. Okay, so now I have my items. And the first thing, I only have one wallpaper set this time. And this is called Beach Life Borders. These are all wallpaper borders and they're all beach themed. So there's shells and sand dollars and then there's um, beach chairs, shells, sand dollars in different colors, sailboats. I love the little vintage postage stamps here. 
sea stars and more boats. They're all folded in half. Palm trees. So if you're thinking ocean, beach, anything that way, these would be excellent to use. So Beach Life Borders. I have that set. I'm running out of space here. Then I made these little journal cards. I just stitched up a little jelly printed piece of paper to make a pouch so you could reuse that. But I have a little set of journal cards here. The base journal card is a graphics fairy design and then I backed it on um, inked splattered or gel printed papers that I've made. I've inked it with yellow ink, stitched it around, and then I've added some of my artistic garden words and phrases. You can get those in my digitals or in my print shop. So, and then I've stitched that on with a piece of fabric underneath. So embroidery of the meadows, beauty of plants, delightful little gardens, best enriched soil, day bloomer and shy bloomer. Those are just a few of the many, 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 many little cut of parts I've made artistic garden themed. So I have that little set. These will be in Lindsay's handmade. And then this is an ephemera folder that I made. This ribbon I just used to close it. You can keep it or not. It's up to you. So it looks like a journal, but I wrote my pretty scrap holder. This is all collaged with papers and then save all the scraps, papers and wallpapers and digitals that I've made. And then, so this is what it looks like. It's collaged on the covers as well. And then there's just pockets. So you can just stuff them um, when you have extra bits and pieces. And I've put a few things in here for you as well. There's cut aparts from books. Here's a stitched um, journal card. I've embellished it with these little people, these little collaged fairy people from Seneca Pond Crafts. I've put in some paper ribbons, some ink journal cards, just different things to get you started. I'll show you how you can just tuck things in. Some of them are side pockets or there's two stacked pockets. I've put in ephemera, cut aparts, labels. It's meant to just be all different colors. All of the pockets are made from cardstock or wallpaper, so they're durable and you can tuck lots of little goodies in there. So just, I've already got you started, but you can tuck lots more in. So there's quite a few pockets in here. lots of little bits. There's more labels back here. And I made it the way I would enjoy using an ephemera folder. I have one that someone made me that is similar. It's, it's different, but it's similar. And it is my favorite one because the pages, these are all cardstock. All of the pages are made from cardstock. So they're pretty durable. And you can just flip open, look for what you want. If I have extras after a project, I cut them up and I can just tuck them in the pockets. You could label them if you wanted to have, say, dragonflies, butterflies. I don't tend to work that way, but there's plenty of space to slap on a label if you wish to label them. And I just thought it was fun. I really enjoyed it. It was a fun project using up scraps, making it durable chose some of my best hoarded cardstock for the inside. Now I have, these will be under Lindsay's supplies. These are vintage floral uh, book page cutouts. And what's really neat about these is they are exactly double-sided. So you have a flower on each side. So they're great for tucking into little pockets and things because you can choose which flower you want on the outside. And I have three sets. I think there's 40 or 50 in each set, but I will recount and I'll put that in the description box of the listing just so you know for sure. But I have three similar sets of that. Lately, I've been making little folders to store my things in out of cardstock so you can turn it into whatever you want. But this is just eight. My boys are playing video games and they're loud. Here's a little journal card set that I made. These are really sturdy. The inside of these are vintage book pages. They're just random collaged. I love this one. 
and that has some vintage paper there on the back. They're all stitched, neutral colors, really pretty. Set of journal cards there. And then I think this is another set. These are a little bit brighter, but same idea. Look at how pretty. I love, love the color combinations on some of these. Some hand dyed paper that's been stamped on that one. Really just bright and fun. Embossed and inked. I love how that paper, I think I'm finally out of this. I need to make some more. Just lots of fun. Bright colors. Oh, and I promised you all I would do a flip through when I finished this journal. Well, it's finished. I had shown you the cover and all of the mixed media techniques that I had done on the cover. This is one of my floral journal labels. The jour this journal belongs to, but there's embossing and stamping and fibers and flowers and stitching and fabric and all sorts of things. So let's take a peek. Two signatures lined with fabric in and out on the spine and I finally decorated it. So let's take a peek. There's some more of that embossed butterfly. I have a time card in a front pocket here. Have a little bird journal card tucked up there. This is my forever blue paper pack. And this is my botanical whispers paper pack. Heather and lace kit, scrapbook paper. This is a little vocabulary card if you that has been stitched on a paper ribbon just for like a tuck spot. If you're looking for some vocabulary cards, I have them in Lindsay's supplies. Stenciling, little sticker, some gel plate printed there, and then um, event log I glued on there. This is jelly printed paper with little stickers. It says it's time. It opens up different gel plated or gel printed neutral colors with some washi little collaged tuck, stenciling. This one's from Heather and Lace. I love how this came out. So I just stenciled the middle and then I put on this little piece of trim and added a rhinestones in the middle of the flowers. Garden book page. No one is useless in this world who lightens the burdens of another Charles Dickens. That's from Heather and Lace little paper ribbons, washi, washi stickers, little fabric and inked tag. It's got some crinkle to it, so that's fun. And then you could add an image on it if you wished. This is silver dyed paper in the back. Stamp, that's a Graphic 45 stamp. It says find yourself. This is a belly band, hand dyed paper, hand dyed silver paper, hand dyed hand dyed rosy brown paper. You can tuck things in there. Grid paper, stenciled and inked, washi bird, heather and lace. I put this down on the book page so you could write on both sides. So you just have a little place to write something. This is forever blue. And then I made a little paper charm has a little bee stamped on that side there's a little bee there as well a little butterfly tag stamped mushrooms the secret to change is to focus all your energy not on fighting the old but on building the new heather and lace grungy ombre florals frosted florals this is an inked page i did little bird book page, scrapbook paper, garden book pages, bingo paper, grungy ombre florals, frosted florals, more book pages. This is from Vintage Neutral Cut Aparts. You can cut them apart or use them as a journal page. Periwinkle Blooms, little nature chipmunk page, Canadian script wildflowers, Just love how this one flows. 
little places for you to write. Stamped, stenciled, inked. I love how the birds fit in as well. And the back. So this is for uh, this is available for sale in Lindsay's Handmade. Just a fun mixed media writing journal is really what it is. Two signatures. I also have some new stencils available. These are bird themed and these are quite large. I think they're eight by eight, um, but I will measure. Um, no, they're bigger than that. Wish that sun wasn't in my eyes. I'd be able to see better. Uh, they're closer to a 10 by 10. Like nine and a half by nine and a half. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see these. <laughs> there you go. So there's this one. And there's this one. I like how this one has two separate ones, or you could do them together. These are great for journal pages, jelly prints. I love that one too. It's kind of oriental looking. And there's this one. Isn't that pretty? Ugh. I kept, I think, three of them for myself, but I wanted to sell most of them so you all could enjoy picking one. Little mama bird feeding the baby bird. This one's beautiful. Don't know why I didn't keep that one. If it disappears, <laughs> get that one. So pretty. Little bird cages here. Gorgeous. Get this one. And that one. This one. And there's this one. So these are all in Lindsay Supplies. Lots to choose from. Then this, I like this project was very interesting, very fun and informative. I took a very old book, copyright 1910, and it was about music. Here it is, Standard History of Music. This is actually from the book, 1910, 1925. And I just made a little ephemera pack. So there's little journal cards. These are on a wallpaper that are, it's kind of like a fabric, but I've just collaged some of the pages with other little bits. These are composers. I've added their name on there, stitched onto hand dyed paper for journal cards. Some bigger collaged journal cards. The little front piece. And then these are little fliplets that have some of the pages. Lesson three, how the system of writing notes was invented some of the music. You can either put this into a music journal, use it as a little tucked into someplace as well. This is just a bigger journal card. So just a whole bunch of little ephemera pieces that I've created from that book. Very old. Thought that would be really fun for a music theme or maybe just add it into vintage journals. And last but not least, this was probably my favorite project of the week. These are journal covers. Um, some of my hoarded cardstock I used for this. Each one is different and I'm going to name them by the words on the front. So these again are my artistic garden words and phrases. But what I've done to create this is used a bunch of strips that have been collaged onto a vintage book page. And then they've been run through my um, Tim Holtz Vagabond 2 with an embossing folder. So the embossing folder is in the shape of a heart and it puts this flourish. And then I cut out a vintage bird from a vintage bird book. And then one of my artistic garden words and phrases. It's inked with gold ink and then stitched with a double line of stitching. It is eight and a half by five and a half. It is ready for you to turn it into a journal or an ephemera folder. And so this one says emblems of patience. This one's called Tender. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just love how these came out. This is called The Refreshing Truth. An Age of Splendor. Affectionately, one of my favorites. I love the two birds and the color scheme on that one. Artistic Standpoint for Shade or Sun. Sweetness and light, variety of colors, attract birds, art is long and life is short, 
a great imagination and you cannot study nature too closely. I love this set. Um, each one is listed separately so you can get the ones that you want. Um, they're on Lindsay's Handmade. While I was making these and I was using these words for my artistic garden words and phrases, I was trying to find ones that weren't plant themed because most of them are plant themed and I'm using birds. And so I came up with the idea of creating another set that was more bird themed. So I used words and phrases from three different bird books to come up with a page called Woodland Birds Words and Phrases. And if you would like to get that for free, you can join my Creative Fabrica fans page. It's linked below. Um, it's a way for you to support me monthly. I really appreciate it. It helps with the videos and with getting uh, great content out. But I add freebies, exclusive freebies. I also talked a little bit um, about how I put them together and all of that. So there's a bunch of freebies over there if you join and you will get that uh, for free over there. So if you're interested in that, please check that out. Click the link below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will subscribe if you have not. And I will see you all tomorrow with another video that hopefully will inspire you just as much.